John is up in Houston, Texas. John, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hey, Ken. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm living the dream, sir. How can I help? So, recently, about six months ago, I switched careers completely. Uh, I went from one field to a completely different field. I was in law enforcement. Um, I do have a degree, so I was able to to use utilize having the degree along with a lot of the other soft skills that I've I've learned throughout um, throughout my eleven years in law enforcement. And I, I switched careers. Um, I've now kind of faced myself to where I've kind of have I guess you should say buyer's remorse from where I'm at. Um, I had the opportunity. All right. I, I use your proximity principle, which actually, I guess, in a way worked a little too well because I was offered two different jobs and the one that I that I took versus the other one. Um, I guess you should say I'm having the buyer's remorse now and um, wanting to know if uh, if it's possible that I could consider or the, or the way to go about switching or is it too too early to, to switch right now? Did I jump the gun too fast? I'm wanting to switch. It's only been six months since I've been in it. I mean, is it very obvious that the things that you are unhappy with aren't going to change? That absolutely. It, it's, it's more the red flags within the culture of the, uh, of the, of the company that I'm working for now. What are the red um, flags? Give me the really short, specific version. Go. Not being paid on time. One. Ooh, oh, boy. Um, um, just the overall, um, let's just say there's, there's been several instances where people have been doing dishonest things, things stealing time, but okay, yet they're not reprimanded for it. Yeah, no, it's not too soon to leave, number one, because this is a super hot job economy, right? And so what you do is you don't throw these people under the bus, but if people ask you, why are you leaving, you go, I'll tell you. Multiple times right. I haven't been paid on time. That's a massive red flag. That, that just speaks to a whole lot of issues that I'm not even aware of, but that's, that's pretty much a biggie. And then number right. two, there's some dishonest stuff going on, and you take the incompetent and the um, lack of integrity stuff. It's just red flag. I didn't want to be part of it. So no, it's not too yeah. soon to leave. I actually last week I had actually had an interview with a uh, with a different company that the day after the. Uh, the, the hiring manager that I spoke with, he, he had called and told me that he didn't, he was interested in wanting to offer me a job and, and that this week they would, they would be sending me out a, uh, um, uh, an email, right. uh, with, with a job offer. Right. And, and so being, being with, being in one job for the past 11 years and also just with one, one entity for the last 11 years, you know, and then moving out to the private sector, like I have, it, it's been a big culture shock. But I, I, but I know what I want within good uh, within my second career because because I, I basically want to say you know can I do this for the next twenty years can I be here dealing with you know these issues or these problems for the next twenty years and and at, and at six months you know no. like it's it, 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 it's no. almost a bad rel- no you don't need my permission I've already told you it's time to move on and right. uh, your 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 gut is right it's not going to work out there. Don't feel bad, but now let's focus on, let's not just take the necessarily the first thing that comes along. It's got to be the right thing, not the next thing. You feel me? Correct. Correct. Like we're not, it's not so bad that we got to hit eject. That would be my only caution. Make sure it's the right thing. And, and here's the key, the application for John and everybody else. You know what you want in a healthy culture. So, so list it out. This is what I want. This is what I know that I want in a, what I call a healthy culture, and then we look for that. It's doable, folks. Don't settle. Settling always sucks. There's a bumper sticker phrase. There you go. By the way, that's true in every area of your life. If you settle in your marriage, it sucks. If you settle in your parenting, it sucks. If you settle in your friendships, it sucks. If you settle in your job, it sucks. Don't settle in any area of your life, because I got news for you. It will eventually suck. Why in the world would we want suck? I don't.